And the megastar was admitted to Mumbai's Breach Candy Hospital in uh, early January after she was diagnosed with COVID-19 and pneumonia. Found an early hit in 1945 in the song Agaya Anewala in the film Mahal, Lata Mangeshkar soared to the greatest of heights, lending her voice to some of the most iconic Bollywood productions. Among her most iconic songs that she sang was E Mere Vatan Ke Logo, to remember Indian soldiers killed in the 1962 war. It brought Prime Minister Nehru to tears. It was performed this year at the beating retreat ceremony, which marks the end of Republic Day. For over seven decades, Lata Mangeshkar, the Nightingale of India, won the hearts of an entire nation with her voice. Born on the 28th of September 1929 and originally from Indore in Madhya Pradesh, she moved to Mumbai in 1945 and broke into the music scene with her first hit, Aiga Anewala, in the 1949 film Mehel, starring Madhubala. Lata Mangeshkar soon went on to work with noted male playback singers like Mohammad Rafi, Kishore Kumar, Mukesh, Hemant Kumar, Mahindra Kapoor and Manna Day and music composers like Sachin Dev Barman, Salil Chaudhary, Shankar Jaikishan, Norshad, Madan Mohan and many others becoming the undisputed queen of the Hindi playback industry. She sang in over 36 languages. Lata Mangeshkar went on to deliver several classics from Ek Pyar Ka Nagma Hai from Shore and Lag Ja Gale from Wo Kaun Thi to Pyar Kiya To Darna Kya from Mughal e Azam and Ajeeb Daastan Hai Ye from Dil Apna or Preet Parai. With numerous awards to her name, the Dada Sahab Phalke awardee was honoured with the Bharat Ratna in 2001 and is only the second vocalist after MS Subalakshmi to receive the honour. Her unquestionable dominance over the Indian music industry made her the most recorded artist in the history of Indian music in the Guinness Book of World Records in 1974. As the country mourns the passing away of its beloved Nightingale, her timeless voice will continue to echo in the hearts of millions. Okay.